Hello everyone and welcome to the Ultimate Gaming Channel. Thank you for joining me in the second episode of Alan Wake 2 walkthrough. We will continue where we left off in the first episode. So, in Bright Falls, we need to visit the sheriff and continue our investigation there. So yeah, let's just go there now. Nice small town what here. Kind of coffee have you had today, Charlie? <laughs> In this small city on the lake. Oh, Come on, buddy. You. So the diner is right here. Let's see. Let hey, man. The FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Thanks. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Breaker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. Thank I'll see you, what man. they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. All right. See you later, buddies. We've looked through the case file. And we are in the diner. Have you had many people just a quick look. Go and let's sure. head to them. These are the people who saw what happened. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Decompress. Take a bath, screw in pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? Yeah. So, what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake. He was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. Mm -hmm. And then we bolted and called the cops. What makes you say it was a cult? The masks and knives aren't enough. I mean, they were shouting, Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Uh, oh, and then we found a... Uh -huh. All things. She stopped him terrible. from saying something. That's all. What were you doing at Colton Lake last night? We got lots right. of clues, some profiling to do. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly They're researching good. Alan Wake. So let's see now what we have here. In the profiling section, and the bookers. So let's the see now. The tree. What aren't the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, and... Finders Keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. Nice. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? The place was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Pass the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with the murder. They are innocent. They were telling the truth. Nice. I'll continue the questioning. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need yeah, to hand girl. it over. Hand it over. Told you not to keep that from Amy. Mm -hmm. And 
Game saved, Thanks. yeah. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <gasps> like we'd even dream of missing you here, but... Oh, God. Saga! Saga Anderson. Who is this? As I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. Baby girl? How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. No shit. You know me. Rose. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your what the fuck? daughter. That's so weird. You don't remember. Yes, it How is. I don't have a daughter. Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. <laughs> Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> if you say so. Weird. Okay, let's go. Can I talk with her again? So, Rose, help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. Like I was already here before. Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks? No one suspicious. But soon enough, there'll be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest. Practically everyone will be oh, wearing no, them. Oh, it's okay. Good to know. Let's go. All set? My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. All right. Well, Casey, Let's I go to lead. the morgue. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? It's only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not going to find out yours. So everybody knows about the cult. Are we? I played some D&D &D back in the day. Wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff. Looks like you have some guests. Ah, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Some town folk Dear here. Best. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. See you, lads. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. Always has been. Why? What's she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But best not to take it personally. She actually... Hey, boss. So go to morgue examination room. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. Yeah, man, come on. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff Station. The Sheriff Anything Station. Need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, Sheriff. How are you? See you later, guys. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our of only coroner not. rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Go, girl. Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same. He's joking. Hello. Pretty dark in here. Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. All right. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. So let's check the body again. What was the cause of death? What other clues can... Aha. Uh -huh. They did leave something inside his chest. 
There's writing on here. Something's written on the heart. Writing? How'd they manage that? This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Defensive wounds. They put up a fight. And one more is here. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post mortem. So let's head on it to the case board. And let's see. New Time file. To see what Nightingale's body can tell us. And let's sort the clothes. We are finding the cause of death now. And ritual writing. Chest wound is cause of death, but the corpse is bloated, waterlogged. Doesn't add up. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Let's find out. So We're now dealing we know with this. an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. The cult of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. Yeah. I need to start a new file. They did all those but murders. It's my first cold before. case. Exciting. She's excited about this. And let's go further with examining the body. So, what is inside? I really want to know, too. And piece of paper or what the fuck this is it's the same type of page we found at cauldron lake pages nightingale hunted saga didn't see her the taken could not see into bright light light hurt them made them vulnerable nightingale had no heart but here he was killing someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. More pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. Let's see them. What? No, 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 wait. What the fuck? Oh my god. No. Oh man. What the hell? Guys, killing everybody. Come on, girl. Didn't see her. Could not see into bright light. <sighs> so what now? to get into the light get into the light now then to stay in the light to avoid being detected by enemies all right i have no bullets i have nothing so what we need to do here 
Oh my. I can't see me in the light. Hide from Nightingale. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it Retrieve back. Leave the pistol in the corridor. Mm. Safe heavens will restore some of your health if you leave or attack from a safe heaven while in combat. It will become temporarily unbearable. Mm. So okay, if you leave or attack from a safe heaven while in combat, it will be unavailable. All right. Gotta move now. So where is now my gun? Need a gun. All right. Oh my God. Yeah. See? Vanished. Vanished. Come on. End of chapter. What the fuck? Okay. I didn't expect this, but let's go. He didn't have a heart. Talk to Casey, look around for but he still clues. Got up. All right. The page predicted all of it. Come on, Casey. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared. What the hell? Yeah, he just disappeared, here? man. We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucinations. Of course there is not. Inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. Yeah, man. Let's see here. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. More story. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. You can read your collected manuscript. Okay, let's just quick see that. So if you want to read, just pause the video, guys. I will not read it now. And then just quick go to radio. Yeah, I will not listen that to now, so yeah. Let's go talk to Casey, all right. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the Sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters hmm, maybe we need to start with learning this cult's goal their purpose okay figure out where nightingale went do we have something for the case board and of course so a dead man turned into a monster light as a way to fight him pages predicting the future there's no rational explanation Nothing is rational this is here. This the case we must solve. Yeah. So where did the nightingale go? Let's try and put this here. Okay, okay. And more in Cult of the Tree. Background cases accumulate clues about broader ongoing topics. Okay, this is background cases now. So let's see. Cult I of need the to know tree. more about the code of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. Yes, of course. New file about them. And lots of things to go here. So we have what kind of cult? Cult goal and who's involved, of course. So let's try and put oh, few of the clues here. So, cult rival, what is it? Okay. More clues. Thanks, Saga. Yeah, okay, so where this could go then? Alright. Cool 
put symbols, right. Hm. Okay, Nightingale only, victim to become a monster, right. I'm trying, and yes. Cold psychology. All right, this is all about the cold guys. Let's go back to Cauldron Lake. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. Let's go. Wreck Nightingale at Cauldron Lake. Right. Let's go. We Look at these guys now. Shops, y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster, and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Back to Cauldron oh, Lake. Me. That's terrible. Yeah, it's fucking we'll terrible, do man. We can, man. Bye, fellas. That's crazy, right, Thornton? Nightingale's heart was missing. Let's get out of the basement. Don't need the battery anymore. So my client has been held here long. Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Oh yeah. Yeah, Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare, ASAP. So he's calling for backup. Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. Okay, let's go, man. Don't waste any more time. Back to the car. And I'm gonna take to a quick look around. Meet you back at the car. See you in a bit. Yeah, I'm going back to the car now. Uh, car can be used to Quite travel between candy. locations. So let's just go to Cauldron Lake. I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. Oh. He was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. Yeah. Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Ha uh ha. -huh. It's the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. Oh my god. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books in their heads they were performing a ritual to bring wake back their imagined prophet after that case i started looking into wake's disappearance on the side and you thought this case might be connected to him his name does keep popping up i just wanted you to have all the facts next time give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story yeah <laughs> and we are back to Cauldron Lake. Let's see. And return to the heart. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly So I think what that uh, means. I will end the episode here, yeah, guys. You this mess. So Thanks. thank you for joining me in this episode. Let's start looking for Nightingale. If you liked what you killed. see, please consider subscribing and join me in the next episode, part number three, in this Alan Wake two walkthrough. Thank you for watching and see you in another video, guys.
Bye.